All right, so if you have a train SV92 unit like I do, I bought this six years ago and the installers put in these two PVC pipes that go outside. Anytime there's outside air, you can get condensation. So you're thinking, okay, we need drainage because you don't just want water from these pipes going straight in here. Well, this pipe, which shouldn't have any condensation if you install this above ground, basically, where the pipe can run with a slope outside. I'm in the basement, so that doesn't do that and water can just come right in here. And apparently for the past six years, water has been coming in here because you can see rust all over the burners, rust all over this little ignition thing here, solenoid, whatever this is, and water's come down and I'm like, okay, maybe that was the problem that caused my control board to fail. I came down here and the fan was still running, but everything else wasn't and turning off and on the system, that didn't help, nothing helped. So that wasn't the problem. Uh, directly because all this was dried up this I haven't seen any water come in here after after getting a new control board and paying 400 bucks in labor the the part was covered but the labor was pretty expensive two weeks later it broke again so I'm like okay what is going on that's when I looked up and noticed that the housing for this fan that that pulls in the fresh air and or I guess it sucks in the fresh air through the the fire and then it blows it out there this gets a lot of liquid and it, just like with my hot water heater over there the liquid has to go somewhere so there's a condensate drain um, this one the, the liquid goes in these rain gutters there's two rain gutters out of it one in the bottom and one up here i guess to collect most of it and apparently this kit right here that does this little diverter thing there's a kit for that too that's supposed to be installed i don't know if it was installed back then or if this is a newer thing all this stuff it, there's a lot of water going on here and this is dripping but after every cycle, after every heating cycle, uh, probably a quarter ounce of water or something drips down. And I put this silicone sheet here just to protect the PCB because I, I noticed that there was a drip on it and it had kind of crashed and needed a reboot. I'm gonna have to call the service guys and I guess replace this whole thing. But even after that, that's still gonna be a problem in six years. So my old furnace lasted 40 years this one has gotten six and has a whole design flaw in it where it spits water out directly onto the control board. Anyway, I'm not even an HVAC tech and I can tell you that this is just not, this is not the type of design that I would say, yes, this is a good design. Look, there's not even a cover. There's this little plastic thing behind it for insulation, but there's no cover that would divert any water away from it. So the water was just dripping down and hitting the circuit board. It would hit some of the wires and run down the wires. That's terrible. 